drive through Gene, Texas and take a look at a town that used to be. Though there never was much to Gene, a bank, a few forgotten stores, a school, a tool shop where implements still sit and rust in the ever-present wind. In Gene, 2nd Street is on the edge of town and in the middle of this hamlet on a hill. A church, one that has stood in the center of this community for nearly 90 years. We're in a part of the country that is considered to be a part that's not growing. We're in a place that's not expected to grow. We're in a place that's expected to get older and eventually to cease to exist. It was a few years ago that circuit preacher Marie Helm came to town and breathed new life into this congregation. It also helped that a family of six moved in, enough to make a choir. Today, attendance still runs in the teens, but that's enough, Marie says, enough to take on any project, especially one that will change this religious landmark forever. It all started when a hailstorm broke out a few windows in the sanctuary. That's when Marie had the idea. Why not replace those windows with stained glass? But the tiny congregation thought stained glass was a luxury they couldn't afford. Stained glass? That's expensive. And my response was, not if we do it ourselves. I sure am glad I numbered these. That sure does make it easier. Now this one, remember, it's even though it's got the pattern on the back, you'd put this face down. Okay. Now what the congregation didn't know at the time was that Marie was no stained glass expert. She'd have to quickly learn the art herself. Well, I read frantically, and I talked to some people that had dealt with glass. And then came the day that I started teaching them, and I said, okay, here's what you do. You run your score on the glass, and I said, so then, then what you do, once you've got that score on there, is you pick it up in your hands like this, and you hold it like this, and then I held my breath, because that was my first cut, and that was my first break. And it worked. <laughs> now you've probably never seen stained glass held together with tile grout, but that's exactly how they're doing it here at Gene Methodist. Traditional techniques are just too complex and time consuming for the novice. So Marie made up a method of her own. We, we do this as art. We don't do this as uh, the, it's not exact design. It, it's a more artistic approach and a lot of people don't like that. They want it very precise. And so that's, that's not what we're doing. But we've had fun. You didn't put any glue on it, Rachel. Am I supposed to? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm a creative person. And I have to be doing creative things. But when you're a circuit minister, there are never enough hours in the day to do everything you know you need to do and everything you want to do. You have to make choices. And when you're a creative person and you stop being creative, you begin to destroy yourself. And this allows me to be creative so that I'm nourishing my spirit at the same time that I'm about the business of the church. One by one, with the fruits of their labor, the members of the congregation began to fill the tiny sanctuary with color. It's, it's like painting a picture. You know when you paint a picture that you, if you make a mistake, 
you just make it part of the photograph. And we've done that a lot of times. And sometimes what we wind up creating is a whole lot more interesting than what the original design is. Two years after the project began, the day has come when the last window is put into place. The end of one era, the beginning of another. Marie says her only hope is that these windows will endure long after her circuit ministry takes her to another church and another congregation, possibly far from Jean. I'll always have the memories, and um, more important than what I did is what they did. It is their work. I assisted them in their work, but these are their windows. They're not my windows. Was this really about making windows? I think the windows were incidental, but the windows are something that we can point back to and say, we did that, and how beautiful they are. And the interesting thing is, anybody comes to visit in this church, they get a tour of the windows. And it doesn't matter if it's time for worship to start or not, they get a tour of the windows. <laughs> so it, the windows are important, but I think it's more uh, the, the feeling of pride in what we have accomplished when we didn't think we could. It's just a small handful of folks who live in the nearly forgotten town of Jean, Texas, an even smaller group that makes up the Methodist Church. But it doesn't take a crowd to have faith, to share fellowship, to work together to shine new light and new life into their old historic church. They put up a sign to commemorate the year this church was built. Maybe someday there will be a sign to remember Marie Helm and what this congregation came together and did 90 years later. I don't want them to say, oh, Marie was here, but I want them to say that we had a minister and that minister helped us do this and it doesn't matter if they remembered my name or not. And I think because of the, the pride and the joy that we have developed together that it has given us a new lift uh, a new energy in going into the next century of the life of this church. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.